This orthosis is uh, called a wrist cock up, and it could be used for carpal tunnel, um, any of the carpal bones, any kind of fracture of the carpal bones, a distal radius fracture, or a proximal row carpectomy. Those are the common diagnoses for this, but others can be used as well. The materials needed are thermoplastic material. This one's already cut for me. A knife to cut if you have a bigger piece. Scissors, something to draw with. And then you can have a pattern that's already um, laid out for you or you can make a pattern on the patient if their arm's a little bit smaller. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to draw up her forearm, both sides, all the way up to about the distal palmar crease. And then make a little part for her thumb. Then I can use this pattern on the thermoplastic material. Once you cut the pattern out that you made for your patient, you can put it over the thermoplastic material and then trace with your pen. And you cut the pattern out. Sometimes you may not be able to cut with scissors. You can use the knife. Just depending on the material that you're using. Then once it's cut, throw it in the heat pan and heat it up. Another option is to use a ramp if you need gravity to help you with the splint, or you can have the patient come up like this. You should also make sure that the patient is wearing a sleeve in case they just had surgery or if they're sensitive. So next, get the pattern out of the heat pan. Next, round the edges to clear the distal palmar crease, as well as the thenar eminence. Make sure it fits your patient. So. Making sure it's nice and flat around her forearm. It clears the distal palmar crease. It clears the thenar eminence. This could be cut a little bit. And then the thumb part comes around on the dorsal side of her hand. So now I'm going to cut the excess material to clear more of the thenar eminence. Also make sure that this part of the orthoses is clearing the index finger MCP. Make sure again that it's clearing her distal palmar crease. You're at about 30 degrees of wrist extension. The patient can still oppose to each finger and that that thenar eminence is clear. So now allow time for the orthoses to harden. Make sure you're smoothing down the forearm so you're not getting any fingerprints and make sure to keep that wrist in slight extension. Now that it's hardened, I can take it off the patient and smooth around the edges or cut any excess that I need to. You can also dip it in the hot water and smooth around the edges too. Next, apply the Velcro. You need the hook Velcro and the strap. So 
right below the phenor eminence, all the way around the material. Cut any excess. And then right before the bottom, place the other one. Make sure it's nice and tight on the material. And the last one goes at the very top. Next, apply the loop Velcro. Make sure it's nice and tight around the patient. And it's done.